Legend has it there was a shrub of cherry red berries containing special beans that made a herd of goats dance. An Ethiopian shepherd found this very odd and began to follow them from, as they danced from one shrub to the other. Um, as he realized what they were eating, he began. He decided to taste it himself, and it gave him such a euphoric feeling and something so energizing that he thought it was a gift from God. He brought it to the local monasteries, and from there, that's when coffee was born. Today, I have my coffee mug, which symbolizes the American coffee culture. Every day I wake up, and the first thing I do is make a fresh hot, hot, hot pot of coffee. Um, the coffee culture has always fascinated me and the effects it has on everybody else. First, I will discuss the enormous role coffee has on the American coffee culture, and second, I'll relate to how it relates to me and how it connects other people together. By learning about coffee, you will have a greater understanding of the American coffee culture. So, coffee is the most popular drink in America other than water. Next to Europe, the U.S. has the second highest consumption of coffee. Um, According to the National Coffee Association, Americans drink about 400 million cups of coffee per day, which is about 146 billion cups a year. Many Americans are so obsessed with coffee that about 49% of them would rather give up their phone than to give up their cup of coffee every day. US, US statistics also show that many workers of the age 18 to 34 spend at least $24.72 per week, and workers 45 years or older spend about $14.50. Within the American culture comes coffee, but coffee alone is its own culture itself. Surrounding the American coffee culture is social behavior that connects people together. Jason Cote says, coffee is just another good excuse to spend time with people, a tasty, happy tradition worth preserving for its various merits and for its ability to help us connect to people. Whether it's in a work setting or a date, coffee connects people. It gives you an extra portion of energy to communicate with one another, get to know each other, and it just creates an overall friendly, happy vibe. Um, personally, coffee is the number one thing that connects my family together and keeps us close. Um, growing up, I always watched my family sit around the table drinking coffee, and that was just normal to them. They would just catch up on everything that they were doing, what they were going through in the week, and I never understood it until I got older and started to drink it myself. Coffee was something that gave me such a warm feeling in my stomach. It gave me an energy that I never felt before. And so as I got older, my family and I tried to get once a week in the morning, try to at least have a cup of coffee together and share what we've been going through because we haven't really seen each other because our, our schedules are different. It's also another big way me and my friends um, socialize and we communicate and meet new people. We like to go to new places and different areas and try new cups of coffee, you know, try the different like, um, the different beans there are, the smelling it, like that's a really big thing also. Um, first I talked to you about how coffee connects people, or how the, first I talked to you about how coffee is plays a big role in the American culture. And secondly, I talked to you about how it connects me and my family together. Um, at this point, I hope you have a greater understanding of coffee and the American culture, and that your cup of coffee gives you the energy to dance like Caldi and the Ghost did. Mm -hmm.